Hi guys, in this video we'll go through demoing uh, technique and drills that you can do at your home. Uh, per first, make sure that you have your shoes on, that you're dressed well for practice, uh, make sure that you uh, did your uh, uh, warm-up routine, and then uh, make sure that you have a safe uh, space for workout, uh, at least 50 uh, square feet. For this workout, we'll also need a bottle of water, small towel, rope or uh, soft measuring tape, and the broomstick. I'm pretty sure most of you have all this at your own home. Before we start with the Workout first, we'll do a few uh, um, mobility uh, exercises just to get ready for a workout. First uh, exercise would be knee hugs. Pull your knee towards your chest and do the same thing with the other knee. And then do this uh, at least 10 repetitions. You can pause video, do 10 repetitions, and then continue. Lunges. Do the same, 10 repetitions. After you're done with lunges, then do hip circles. With each leg, at least 10. When you're done with that, then you can do one four specific uh, stretch for your shoulders. Grab a broomstick and then stand in front of the wall as long as long as that broomstick extend your right arm all the way up step towards the wall with your left leg and push your chest towards the wall you should feel a nice stretch you can do the same thing with your left arm step with your left right leg towards the wall push your chest towards the wall you should hold the stretch for at least 10 seconds and then release it slowly, do for both arms. After we're done with uh, all these specific stretches and uh, mobilities, then we can start with standing toe. Uh, for that, I would recommend you to put the rope down on, on the floor. And that would be your direction where you're actually throwing the javelin. In this case, uh, broomstick. You're not going to throw broomstick, please. Just uh, keep it in your hand all the time. Uh, first, before we start with the standing throw demonstration, uh, the first thing is grip. So you should grip with your point finger and your thumb and let the javelin lie in your hand like this, close to your forearm. So it is not this, it is like this. That's the correct grip for, for javelin. <clears throat> Standing throw. Make sure that your right foot is on the right side of the rope and left foot on the left side of the rope. Your hips are pointing 45 degrees against this uh, direction where you're throwing a javelin. <clears throat> So make sure that your weight is on your right leg and the left leg is totally straight and your left hip is in, in, in the same line with your core and your left leg. So this should be totally straight. If you're standing like this, that means that you're sitting and that's not good. So make sure that your left hip is totally straight with your left leg. <clears throat> Javelin should be parallel to your shoulders, no matter where your shoulders are pointing. Your shoulders will, will be pointing a little up like this, tilting. So uh, javelin should follow shoulder line as well. So if you're holding javelin, hold it like that, following the shoulder line. Your left arm is high. And then from there, you will just step forward. As you step forward, you will start pivoting your right foot. At the same time, you will start moving your left arm to the left 
not down but to the left and your right hand will do supination which is this motion now when you do all that together it will look like this and then you just follow through don't throw a jab or a broomstick <clears throat> again so you're standing here good feet position hips are pointing over there now you get in this position when everything is parallel ready to throw step forward rotate your right hip drive through make sure your right hip is in front of your shoulder and then do all other motions together and go through that motion you should do this at least 20 times or even more if you feel like that so when you're done with this uh, then you can do drill with a towel and with this you can actually uh, go a little faster with your arm and you can actually whip it which is a very good drill so stand at the par position same thing put your arms in the correct position all the way up then step and whip it so you can whip it hard and you will hear the sound whipping sound which is good and you should repeat this at least 20 times you can do even more if you want but at least 20 times so again here step forward whip it make sure you finish with your hip all the way so you drive your hip all the way through <clears throat> the other drill would be with a water bottle which will give you more um, resistance and, and it's a little heavier so it feels more like a like a exercise actually like a drill uh, you're standing here but the way how you're gonna get in that power position is a little different you will swing all the way down and up and from there you step forward and go through motion don't throw the bottle just keep that bottle in your hand all the time so again swing and go through the motion swing drive your hip pivot your right foot so you're gonna finish in this motion again you should repeat this at least 20 times <clears throat> or even more if you would like uh, after this we're ready to do a crossover step will stand with general in the same way you stand like you want to do a standing throw but now this time you will just do crossover step and as you get in that power position you will just do whole drill all the way through <clears throat> so you're here you're going crossover step and all the way through so make sure the javelin is not shaking left or right make sure when you're doing crossover step the gel is not going up or down don't do see so with with that gel <clears throat> it's very important to keep that balance and keep that gel in line up with your shoulder line so you're here crossover step and go all right so repeat this at least 20 times when you're done with that then you can do same drill with a little hop if you have enough room um, at your home so uh, it will look like this just here and you just do like a little hop and then you do whole thing again from here you can do a little hop and do whole thing so uh, when you're done with that I would recommend to do a few additional exercises that will help you with the uh, coordination um, I, uh, uh, hand coordination because it's very important to coordinate uh, uh, gel and, and uh, that implement is long and it requires uh, finesse and uh, lots of coordination <clears throat> the next drill would be uh, pull back as you know with gel and you start with the running steps gel and is uh, parallel to the ground the grip is right above your shoulder that's the first part of technique. The second part is 
transition phase when you actually pull that javelin back and then you do crossover steps. So drill for, for that pull back would be uh, like this. You're standing here, parallel feet, and then you just step back and pull that javelin all the way back. So make sure when you pull back javelin that you don't pull to the right, to the right, left, or you pull down or pull up. You know, so it has to go just straight back and keep parallel to your shoulders. So one more. You're here and pull that all the way back. You can turn your head to check if that javelin is in the right position. Make sure you repeat this drill at least 20 times or even more if you would like. Uh, when you're done with this, uh, just go to uh, next uh, video and do your stretching. Thank you for watching this video.